Here we're going to simplify 2 plus 3i over 3 minus 2i. To eliminate i or rationalize this, we need to multiply top and bottom of the fraction by 3 plus 2i. That's just conjugate. The reason we're doing this is because if I have a minus b, if I multiply by its conjugate, a plus b, that's a difference of squares. So this would be equal to a squared minus b squared. So in this case, if I multiply 3 minus 2i, multiply by its conjugate 3 plus 2i, that would result into a squared minus b squared. Your first term is 3 here. Your a is 3. And your second term is 2i. So this whole thing gives me 9 minus 4i squared. Now, i squared is equal to minus 1. We had the session on this already. So, in this case, I would get 9 minus 4. I'm going to replace i squared with minus 1. That would be 9 plus 4, which is equal to 13. This is how you would eliminate i and you rationalize it. So I don't have any i anymore at the bottom of the fraction. Just by multiplying top and bottom of the fraction by conjugate of 3 minus 2i would help me to eliminate i by using this property, difference of squares. Now at the top of the fraction, I need to simply multiply these two binomial, and everywhere I see i squared, I'm going to replace it with minus 1 again. So we're just going to multiply term by term here. So I get 2 times 3. That would give me 6. 2 times plus 2i. That gives me plus 4i. And then here I get 3i times 3. That gives me plus 9i. And then here I get 3i times 2i. That gives me plus 6i squared. This whole thing is over 13 still. So everywhere you see i squared, I can replace it with minus 1. So here I get plus 6. And then here that turns to minus 6. Those two add up to 0 plus 6. And this would be minus 6 adds up to 0. So these two would give me a total of 13i. So in case I have i at the top of the fraction, not at the bottom of the fraction. So Looks like that this 13 and 13 also reduces. In this case, the whole thing would be equal to i or i over 1. And that's how you can simplify that.